leave Chicago land more disappointed than Chase Elliott. So what was your what was going through your mind when that caution came out when it looked like the race was yours, Chase? I expect it. Nothing's yours until it's over. So I mean that's part of life, man. Uh, you're not dumb. You've all, we've all watched this stuff long enough. We know these races don't go green that long. Uh, and we see more cautions come out at the end of these races than we do not. So that's just part of it, man. You gotta expect it, be able to embrace it, move forward. Uh, I feel like we did a good job controlling the things that we could control today. Had a fast nap of Chevy. Appreciate everybody's hard work this weekend. Hendrick was strong, that's good to see. And uh, like I said, we, there's some things you just can't control with, with the amount of guys that stay out and where you line up on a restart. So, uh, you know, we, we played the cars we were dealt and it came up short. You guys did lose a spot on that final pit stop. Had you started fourth where, where Truex started, do you feel like you could have won the race? Well, if one less guy had stayed out, then we would have been fourth. So you never know how things are going to play out. Obviously, you hate to lose a spot on pit road, but our guys did a good job all day. They were solid, and those are the kind of days we have to have on pit road. So uh, we'll take his motivation to move forward. How encouraged are you by the speed? The 24 brought this weekend. Yeah, we're definitely proud of it, man. We're, we're proud of that. We're proud of the of the of the run we had today. Obviously, hate to come up short, but that's part of life some days. But we we were fast, and I think that's something to be something to be happy about. And we can move forward to Loudon with uh, you know with some motivation, I think, and, and get ready to get going. Well, it looked like the race was his, but Chase Elliott winds up finishing third this afternoon, Rick.